Praise the Lord. This is Sister Nini, and this is God's ministry. And I want to start out today by praying. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, that name that's above every name, the name that every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. And let, let Lord God, us take you at your word. Let us not, Lord God, only come to you when there is a problem, but that we look to you every day for your guidance and your wisdom in your direction in our lives, in Jesus' name. Now today I have a guest, once again, Minister Randy G. Newman. Praise the Lord, Minister. Praise the Lord, and it's good to be here again. Amen. It's good to be here to walk through doors of opportunity. Trini, it is a blessing Amen. to be here. Amen. Did you want to start us off with a scripture today? Yes. Um, Psalms 4, verse number 5 says, Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. That's Psalms book number 4, because they're the book of books, uh, verse number 5. Amen. And today what we're going to talk about is trust. Yes. Trusting in the Lord. What could be greater than trusting in Him? the one that's done so much already for us. Yes. So that's what we're going to talk about today. What is trust? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, in, it's integrity, it's love, it's security. Yes. Okay. It's faith. Yes. It's all that. It, it encompasses a variety of things. So what we're going to say is that um, in trusting the Lord, we must place everything. Because if we really want to follow him, we need to place everything in his hands. That's true. All ye that are heavy laden, come to me, lay everything down, and I will give you rest. Right? Mm -hmm. And so we need to put everything into his hands. So if we take our lives and we say, well, Lord, we, we, we trust you. And it's not that we trust you yesterday, that we won't trust you today, but we know that we need to trust you every day so that we give you our families, our jobs, our children, our finances. We give all that to you yes. and we let you handle it because we don't know. We don't know exactly what it is that we need to do. So rather than us going and trying to put our trust in man, because he said, don't put your trust in man. Why? Because man will let you down, but that he would never let us down. He would be with us always, even to the end of the earth. Amen, Minister Newman? Amen. That's the truth. I remember a season of some years back, I was going through a situation where we have our dry drought seasons, even in, as Christians. And it was becoming towards um, Thanksgiving, if I may share. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of those seasons where everything just crumbled, even before Thanksgiving became the actual day, November uh, 21st or 24th. Okay. And I began to pray and cry out to the Lord about finances for Thanksgiving. And I'll never forget, I was going to the store for a senior citizen. And um, she had gave me some change to go to the store for her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, I went outside, and it was like a day it is now, like almost like the first day of winter. And the Lord spoke to me and said, as you walk, I'm going to bless you. Mm. I went outside, long story short, to go to the store for someone, a senior citizen, yes. and found $130. Ugh. That was not by luck, neither mm. was it by chance. Not by it chance. was by the Lord's doing. Amen. When you come to know the Lord, we have trust in a lot of people. Hmm. And that's not good. That's not good. But I really, our trust is really in the Lord. Amen. And God has those who serve him that really do trust him yes it's not overnight it is a process now we do trust him to save us yes. fill us with the holy ghost and use us as tools and vessels Amen. but we have to stick to that measurement of faith to really really trust him we not to really put our trust in anyone but the lord our god amen amen that is so beautiful but it is so true and also what we need to know concerning trust is that 
knowing the outcome sometimes mm -hmm. of something, just like the Lord already told you. You go, I'll bless you. That's right. I mean, that kind of all most reminds you of the disciples and stuff because he told them to just put down everything. And yeah. follow him. And follow him. And that's a faith walk. That's a faith walk. Trust is also a word considered belief. Yes. Which also goes into the measurement of mustard seed faith. Yes. This is a faith walk. The just shall live by what? Faith. faith. But if any man draw back, he will have no fellowship with you. Yes. Once your hand is put to the plow, you need to stay with the Lord. Amen. Because he's given us a source of belief and a source of uh, confiding or having confidence in him. Amen. This is a one day at a time walk. Yes. Now, sometimes our faith may waver. And we've had those seasons. We all have had those seasons. But when your faith is finished wavering, you go back to the same God that you once served. Yes. Stay with him. Yes. You don't just pick, pack up and leave him. You go back to the same God that saved you. Yes. Died on the cross. Yes. Gave his life for you. Yes. That is a symbol and uh, a measurement of faith and trust and also hope. Yes. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Luckily, we're on air. <laughs> I'm trying to compose myself. Lord, we thank you. Mm -hmm. We thank you. You know, sometimes we do wrong. You know, every day we have to ask for forgiveness. We have to, have to ask for repentance. Every day, those two things, because sin is something that we do. It's word, thought, or deed. So it's not that you necessarily have to do it, but those thoughts are still sin. So we have to ask the Lord to forgive us. Now, mm -hmm. It's times when people also backslide. I think that would go, I guess, a little bit with what may, maybe Minister Newman was just um, referring to concerning God and how you can go back to him. And we're not saying to backslide or anything like that. We're talking about mm -hmm. trust. Mm -hmm. you know. So if you fail, because a righteous man falls down seven times, but he gets up. So if you do fall, you know, like the song said, uh, we fall down, but we get up. Mm -hmm. But we get back up right into his arms, mm -hmm. back into trusting him and not giving up on him because he's not giving up on us. Mm -hmm. So it is confidence, putting our old confidence in him, confiding in him, you know, not so much always running to man and saying, well, um, can maybe you try to work out a situation or something. Can you try to help me with it? No, in prayer. So we take everything to him with prayer and supplication. Amen? Mm -hmm. We take everything to him in prayer. Yes, we pray with others. You know, we, we um, lay prostrate. We are people that um, continually pray daily for others. Intercessory prayer. That's love as well. Having compassion for others that we can pray for them. That's love. Mm -hmm. That's love. And all this goes along with trusting. Trust, love, confidence, belief. So what do you believe in? He tells us that we have to believe that he is first. Mm -hmm. He's a reward of those that diligently seek him. That's right. Amen. On a continuous basis. Amen. We must seek him. Yes. Because he's our father. Not because he's our father and has benefits. Mm -hmm. He's our father and he cares for us. Yes. He said unto the people in Corinth in the book of Church of Corinthians to, through the Apostle Paul. He said, I'll be a father to them. They'll, they'll uh, father and they'll be my sons and daughters. Yes. You can't escape that because the Corinthian church did not have any fathers. Mm -hmm. God is our father and our father figure. Yes. Um, Paul told them in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12, I believe, and he said, you have many instructors, but yet you have no fathers. Mm -hmm. So when you come to know the Lord, come to know him as our Father. Yes. That's what the Lord's Prayer, but I think it's in Matthew um, 6. It is. And um, the Lord's Prayer, our Father, mm -hmm. which art in heaven. Yes. No God is Father. Yes. We have a lot of people who are generals in the faith, mothers in the faith, but no God is Father. And that God really Father you. Yes. And that same God that Father you will give you that trust. A real Father will teach you to have substance. Yes. And have faith. Yes. Yes. That's that, where that integrity comes in. Yes. And character. 
character. You can do more than just speak in tongues Amen. and lay hands. You Amen. must have character, yes. development. You must be skilled. Yes. Trust goes a long ways it and we sure trusting does. that he's on his way back. Yes. That was the same word. It falls back up to trust. Amen. It, it just branches off in so, so many different areas. Amen. Now, can we trust him when problems arise? Sometimes we waver in that also. But then if we waver, it's just like deceit. We can ask, but don't expect anything to take place. So that goes to any man that's the double-minded man, double -minded expect man who's nothing unstable, from expecting unstable nothing. all his ways, expect yes. nothing of the Lord. That's right. And your, so. and your best belief, believe in God, you must uh, turn away from the TV, the telephone, consecrate yourself mm -hmm. really fast, mm -hmm. and really believe that God is going to answer those prayers. Amen. Sometimes we do, and I've done it, and I've been guilty of that, putting my trust in people. And when people let us down, we become discouraged, mm -hmm. hurt, um, spiritually disjointed. But when I really trust God for anything, he brings it to pass. Several situations have occurred. Um, it was like a season it is like now. Um, something I was going through, and I was in need of finances. And when I began to walk, I could feel the presence of God standing on top of me as I was going to the store. And that same Lord that did that with the, <laughs> the Thanksgiving situation yes. came up again and said, look down to the ground. I want you to see something. <laughs> I looked down to the ground. There was $10. That $10 scratch for three days. Amen. God will supply our needs. It yeah. may not be what you think it is. Right. It's not always in the money. It's really the trust. Yes. In the Lord. Yes. Um, I watched this. It um, was a play. Uh, not too long ago, and how the guy was saying, okay, you coming to me, you asking me or for money, um, you know, your job situation or whatever is not right, and where is your God? You know, be careful when people start talking to you that way, because they're trying to have you doubt him. Yes. But yes. God knows what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. It's not up to another person to look and say, well, you don't have this at this point. How is he really using you or anything like that? Because maybe you don't have all the things you need to have at the time. Maybe all your finances is not where you need for them to be. But that does not mean that he will not eventually, okay, eventually bring those things forth for you. Mm -hmm. And that still goes back to trust. Right back to trust. You're not always going to have it every day. Right. There'll be days when God will touch somebody's heart to, um, to be a blessing. I was a young friend of mine came by a couple of weeks ago to bring me, and this is not boasting or bragging. I wasn't even looking for this. Um, he brought a, a coffee table and two end tables, glass, cherry um, wood furniture. Amen. <laughs> you know, some of the women will go crazy over stuff like that. <laughs> And uh, before he left, he said, the Lord spoke to me and told me to give you this. Amen. He put $20 in my hand. Amen. God will supply our needs. Yes. It's being patient, waiting, and expecting God to really move. That, that, that seed of trust and faith collides together. Yes. Either you're going to trust God or you're not. Amen. I mean, it has been times, like, a lot of times when my daughter was small, and um, maybe it wasn't what you wanted to eat at the time, but you might have had a little something. Mm -hmm. But then maybe that little something was about to be gone, and you're like, oh, my goodness, what am I going to do? Sometimes you're that kind of person that don't want to ask anybody for anything. It's mm -hmm. not so much pride. It's just you're not like that. You're used to giving because you're the giver, so you're not used to asking anyone. But I know there was a many a day Randy Newman, minister, mm -hmm. excuse me. There were many a day that, as far as.